Hi, I'm Tina Ann Middleton, author of the Forestville series. And I would like to welcome you today to The Writing Journey, where we inspire and encourage each other in the craft of writing. Today, I'll be talking about another one of my favorite authors, Irene Hannon. We'll be right back. Now, there are several authors that I have enjoyed for a long time. And one of them is Irene Hannon. During the years that our girls were growing up and even after they were grown, I spent a lot of time at the library. I, I know I went at least once a week, probably more than that. And when I came home, my book bag would be bulging with books. Most of the time, you could find an Irene Hannon novel in that book bag, at least one. She is a prolific writer. She's written more than 50 books, which tells me I need to get busy with my book shopping. Um, some of her books are romantic suspense. Now, that's my favorite genre. And romantic suspense with dogs I like even better, but I digress. Uh, she writes romantic suspense, and she writes contemporary romance and women's fiction. She is an award-winning author. Uh, two times she's gotten the Carroll Award, seven-time winner of the Rita Award, which is through the Romance Writers of America. Uh, she's gotten the Daphne du Maurier, three Holt medallions, a whole bunch of others. Uh, I would have spent our entire time just telling you the awards if I had listed all of them. She is a busy lady. There was a time she worked as an executive corporate communications. Let me back up. I'm not sure exactly what her title was. She worked in executive corporate communications with a Fortune 500 company. And, and, and she also wrote at the same time. So for a while there, she was juggling two careers. After a while, she decided to give up the one so that she could write. And in her bio, she says she has no regrets, leaving all that behind to write full time. Uh, I'm sure I was enjoying her books even then, and I know I enjoy them now. In her spare time, which even Though she's not juggling two careers, I have to wonder when she has spare time. But in her spare time, she likes to cook, garden, and sing. She is a trained vocalist who has sung leading roles in several musicals. Okay, there, there could be just a little bit of envy there because I love music and I love to sing and I can't carry a tune in a bucket. This is why it's a good thing when I go to the concerts for my favorite group, the Gaither Vocal Band. Everybody else is singing too, so my voice gets drowned out. Uh, back to Irene, though. Y'all didn't want to hear about my off-key voice. She and her husband like to travel and spend time with their family. So we'll get down to why do I like Irene Hannon's books. Now, I mostly read romantic suspense. That is my favorite genre. Her characters in her books are the kind of people in the book, they've, they've got a problem, not just the crime problem. We know if it's romantic suspense, there's a romance problem and there's some kind of crime problem. But a lot of times there's some other personal issue that they're dealing with and they overcome that adversity. So they overcome the personal issue, they overcome the romance issue, and whoever is trying to kill them, or they're trying to catch them because they killed someone else, they issue that, they overcome that issue as well. In the process of overcoming all these obstacles and issues, her characters learn faith lessons. Now, it may be someone who does not believe at the beginning of the story and through the things that they go through in the story, they come to faith in Christ. Or it may be someone who does believe, 
but they've got some kind of crisis in their faith, something that's made them question and doubt. And because of what they're going through, they grow and they learn, and maybe it helps them to resolve whatever that crisis is. Or if it's not resolved, they know how to resolve it, and they're working toward that. And, of course, in romantic suspense, they find love with the person that is right for them. There are common themes in the books that I enjoy, and you've probably heard me over these past several weeks, you've probably heard these same things coming from me over and over. I promise I'm not just being repetitious. There are things that I like in books. And these writers that I've been talking to you about, I find these things in their books. Things like engaging characters. I like the characters to be real, to be people that, to seem like real people to me. Like I could sit them down at my t dining room table and we could have a meal together. I like one where the story grabs hold early. Because you know if that story doesn't grab hold of me early, I may put the book down and go to another book. So I need one that grabs hold and hangs on. And um, yeah, Irene Hannon's books, they do all these things. They have the engaging characters. And again, these are the kind of characters you can get involved with. You might find yourself wanting to shake one of them or pinch somebody's head off. Not literally, please. Or uh, or cheer for them, go, yeah, you did it, keep going. Uh, her stories grab hold early. I mean, that action starts early, and you better hang on, you're going for a ride. And it'll hold your attention, holds my attention all the way through. Now, I love to read, I can get absorbed in a book, but I found as I've gotten <clears throat> older, my attention can be diverted more easily. I, sometimes feel like, you know, those dogs on the children's movie, Up, you know, squirrel. So for a book to grab hold of me now and keep my attention, we're doing good. Irene Hannon's books do all four. So she is a talented writer. I mean, obviously, look at all those awards. She's a best-selling writer. And you can see her passion for her faith and her craft reflected in every story. Wow, I would love for someone to be able to say that about me and about my stories. I'm going to work on that with mine. I encourage you, let your passion show as well. Keep writing. Have a great week.